Welcome back, loyal advisors. After our great success at Blightwatch, it is time for us to look at the next settlement on our list. We're going to be moving south. Oh. There we go. I had to click. We're going to be moving south in order to try to attempt this bronze seal. See if we can get all the way down there during this cycle. We should one, two, three, four, five, six. And I maybe have two or three settlements more. We might not be able to, but we will absolutely try it. And the most natural place to go to go down there is to click here. Once again, we're going to go through what all of this means and how we embark. There will be a timestamp in the video if you prefer to be able to skip directly to the action. But we have a couple different conditions here. We are near an abandoned settlement, which means we will have a couple of extra buildings in our starting location. This is a positive modifier. Then we will have some diverse flora. This is because we're in the coral forest. It is inspiring and has all sorts of resources in the trees. We do have some meat available, some coal, some stone. I think this too is a nice place to make lizard food. So we will probably be trying to bring the lizards here. We will have beavers as well if we do this. And they are great at cutting trees. I love it. Um, I think we're going to be keeping it on the Viceroy difficulty for now. Simply because the big difference from Viceroy until Prestige 1 is that you require more reputation. So, if I am at Viceroy, it requires 14 reputation. Whereas if I switch to Prestige 1, it requires 18 reputation. And this difference is just going to make the game longer for now. So, while we are waiting to upgrade the Citadel a little more, make it a little bit easier, a little bit faster to get through it, we are going to do this new settlement on Viceroy. We're going to be going with the beavers and the lists. We have more points than we can even make embarkation bonuses for, so that means it's going to be easy to choose. So, let's get right into it. Here we are, our forest mysteries are the invigorating winds, which means they will move faster if they have complex food. We will have global resolve if we discover glades during storms, we don't want to do that. Dark Star is about the settlement, awaken a primal fear in all the villages. Resolve drops faster, that can be dangerous. Rotten rain. Blood flowers spawn. Okay, we will try to keep us a small colony. Vanishing goods. Some goods seem to be disappearing. Consuming twice amount of goods when using services. So noted. Most of this, we will simply just be doing whatever we would be doing anyways. We start with a tool shop. Which will allow us to make tools if we uh, rebuild it at some point. A lizard house. It's also very nice. And a trapper's camp. Excellent. Let's see what kind of glades are around. We have the dangerous ones here. So one of the forbidden ones is over here. One of them is here. I think this is a nice direct path to the forbidden glade. Um, the last one would be here. Yes, we're going to move out in this direction first. So, starting out as always, two woodcutters. Getting our path all the way down to them. We will see, read, read, read. Let's just see what we get. We're going to wait and see if we get any kind of fertile soil when we open the first glade. Then we'll pick one of those. And... Unpause. Get the speed up. We are going to, as we generally do, get a couple of shelters down. There and five, six, seven. So we're going to need three, but not from you, beavers. Not from. Well, I guess if we only have six people available, we're going to keep one around. Excellent. And that leads us to our first cornerstone. I can't guarantee that we're going to be producing wine. So we're going to go for the woodcutter song. The 
just give us a couple of boosts here in the beginning. We already have a lizard in there. See what our orders are like. Events, deliver tools. We have a tool shop, so we can easily do that one at some point. Lizard Resolve, going to make, do itself. We're going to discover glades. We're definitely going to be rebuilding at least one ruin. This one gives perks, which is more production. I value that more than I do a couple of uh, a couple of parts and a couple of lizards. So we're going to go with this one. And honestly, here I think I'm going to go with the trading one. Excellent. Now... Just make a proof workstation, followed by a makeshift post. We should also be able to actually do a little bit of trading when the traders begin arriving. Just going to set some limits here so that they don't do too much. Um, which means I will want to get a trading station up quite quickly. Oh, right. Uh, I already burned so much. Oh, well. I will need a trader station because whatever's in this glade, I might want to trade for something to deal with it. And I'm getting a little late, so I will probably not open this until after the storm. We can get a little bit of reputation in if we make our lizards happy here. It's a thin line. I'm going to move up closer to the roads. Hmm. Maybe after we do this settlement, we'll actually go meet on Lorien. We can see our humble abode as it is so far. We actually have enough that we could rebuild this lizard house. Getting more reputation with the lizards in an easy fashion. Seems like a good idea. We're also going to pick our cornerstone. Hmm. I don't like either of these right now. I normally like this one a lot, but I am waiting for a trader right now to open this glade. I, can I just not pick? I can just not pick. I'm just going to leave it for a little while. And I would like another beaver and another lizard. Excellent, excellent. And we're going to cut through here and see what we find on the other side. Excellent. Oh. Let's see here. Totem that we would be able to burn down if we hadn't taken our coal. That's why we keep that around. And we are, of course, going to be burning it because this is terrible, terrible corruption. Ooh. So bad. What does it do if it... Uh, extra storm duration... At an impatient point. Impatience point. Hello. Excellent. Hmm. I think this is going to be the expensive way out of buying planks. Hi. I don't want to do this, but I do not yeah. see any choice. I have four right now, plus whatever I have in here. Five, six, six planks. So, I'm going to need another 18 planks. It's going to be expensive. And I would love to have reinforced needles instead of wasting my time with the planks. Uh, let's just do two of those. One of these. The if. Oh, let's do a couple extra of these. Hmm... Can I get a little bit extra here, there? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to need a couple of people. Not the diva, preferably. But a couple of people to come down here. And burn this profane, terrible totem to the ground. I would like to have someone making packs of provisions. So that we can actually... 
do some trading because now I am going to be picking the makeshift, ma the market shift plan, which means we are going to need to be doing it five trade routes to make traders come back. But this is going to make it way more variable what trade route we're going to get. Going to make it easier. Um, building materials and woods and woodcutters camps. Reach standing level two with two settlements. I think this one is going to be very easy. Need for jerky fulfilled. We are going to be doing this at some point. Right, we did get some fertile ground. I think we would like the roots and herbs. What are we making this out of? Yes. We would definitely like the roots and herbs farm. Being able to produce planks better is always nice. Could have gotten the wine one. But being able to produce coats makes it easy to get a little bit of reputation there. Good. So, setting up the farm. And making a road that goes in deeper. Because we want to get all the way to the Forbidden Blade. Okay, so we're looking at the trade routes and it is going to be a little difficult right now to make any of them. We are quite short on food, so I don't want to be trading away the meat, even though we are getting more from the Trapper's Camp. And we don't have a lot of the other materials right now, but we will keep an eye out of that, out for that. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. I think in this one we are not really worried about corruption right now because we are not yet using the rain park technology, but more goods. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We are also going to be upgrading our hearth by making a park. And... Get some of these extra buildings built. So that we can hopefully... Have um, my stuff happen. Let's see here. Two, three, four. Four is more than three, and I need workforce right now. There's a trade route available for the ancient tablets. We need to make X amount of trade routes right now, not a specific quality. So even if we had that extra pack of provisions so we could send both, we will send them one at a time. We have another available trade route. And because I do want the traders to come back, I am going to make a little bet and hope that we are going to be fine on food. Otherwise, our peasants will just have to starve. This is all about sending resources back to the citadel after all. And we are going to be doing that whenever and however we can. Let's see here. I would like all the tools. I can build tools in this now. So I would like to just have all the tools that are available in this one. To do that, I will require stone. Just gonna build a small warehouse out here as well. Newest order picks. Have a kiln, produce coal, get extra bricks, have humans, fulfill their needs for clothing. Easy one to do, take that. Need for leisure or salvage and rebuild ruins and deliver provisions. We are going to be doing this one because we have two buildings left here. I thought we had two buildings left here. Lizard house, tool shop, and... Oh no, right, we rebuilt the trapper. So we have one of them here. We are going to open more blades. I'm sure it will be fine. And now that the storm is over, we're going to be cutting through this. Through this blade. Mm. 
This isn't too much. We're going to go with the Rebellious Spirit. A little bit extra resolve for everyone. Seems nice. We have a trade route available. The other ancient tablet. Get that out there. And we have newcomers. I do need at least one more human. And then the farm. I would like an extra person over here. I would like an extra beaver here. And that should put everyone to work. Work, work. Dog sock and Dabu. Excellent, 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 excellent. We are doing the Queen's favor here. Oh, we actually have the Trapper Camp available for this because it's the one we started with. So that is great news. The danger here is the escaped convicts that will plunder us and destroy our caches. And we'll get impatience. We should definitely try to arrest them because that is what Her Majesty the Queen would want. Requires tools or stone. We are getting stone slowly. Let's see if slowly is fast enough. We can get it a little faster now. This also gives us more tools. Not enough to do this though, but we could do this. Get another blueprint. We do want that. I want the human's house, which I hate to say it because it's annoying that I have to get it all by myself. Um. Then we are probably going for the brewery so that we can make packs of props better. I'm quite quite interested. I've he heard that out in these forests there are sometimes hidden tablets that will tell us something about this mysterious world that we live in. And it, it can be quite mysterious. It's hard to know what's going on when, um, well, we live out in the wild and don't have a lot of contact with everyone else. And, and the, I do love and adore Her Majesty the Scorched Queen, but she does not tell us very much. And that's definitely probably for the best. She has her reasons. I respect that trade route. Uh, yes. But it would be nice to know what's going out, uh, going on out there. You know. I'm sure you all understand your advices. Anyways, now that we have this up. I'm going to transfer these over so that they can begin working towards the Forbidden Glade. We are actually close to having enough stone and if we don't have to use the tools for that, we can use the tools to break open these caches and send them back to Her Majesty. More resources for the throne, more resources for Her Majesty. I like that idea. We are just going to assert, assign a couple of people. Two. Break open. Oh well, to throw stones at these convicts until we can arrest them and they will follow us willingly back to the citadel. We are going to grab the leather here. And the market shift plan requires two more trade routes to be complete. So in a couple of minutes we should begin getting traders again. Which will be excellent tavern and serve ale. We can make the ale, so we will just be looking for the tavern. I think that's a good bit. We're going to do that. Let's get another farm down. Fields. And we are going to remove at least one of our woodcutters. Stork! You're a sight for sore eyes. I have so much amber that I would like to use. We need to fulfill 50 jerky. This will not quite get us there, but it will get us close. Um... That would be 
twelve. That could get us a couple of vegetables. Yeah. Getting more movement, always fine. More trader. Less move from buildings to and for from buildings. Just grab those. I don't think this one is extremely important. If one of you advisors know better, please do correct me. But mm, I don't think this one is necessarily super important. But I don't have anything I want more than it right now. So... I am going to see what I can get for the last 8 amber though. Because I am always a little low on food and I would like to have plenty. Go to grab some vegetables. <laughs> Excellent. Now, as long as it's only herbs being used for this, I don't care for a limit. So, I will be willing to, the second we get a little bit more people, put someone in there to work on that. And we're going to get newcomers soon. Um, a little bit less hostility for every cache we open or send to Citadel. I will take that because we are going to be sending some caches and we're going to be doing it very soon. Ah, the lizards just got happy on their own. They're beginning to eat the jerky. That makes a lot of sense. And that makes it a good time to mention to you that if you want to show your undying love for our lady, the Scorched Queen, please do uh, brand yourself onto the subscribe button so that she will receive the holy smoke and be happy with it. We are going to go for... Well, definitely this trade row. And... Also... New right, newcomers, that's where I was. Newcomers will be coming. So we are going to begin making some sp human speciality housing. We are going to want to have a lot of humans for one of our goals. Let's see here. Six new people, two humans. Five new people, but three humans. I think I'll take this. We will hold a little bit back on how many people we take in. If everyone could just prioritize this one, that would be great. I know there are three of you around that are building. Okay. A little bit higher for this. You. Because then I will shove the humans in here so they can begin planting while the lizard works out the rest of the fields. Excellent. We'll get a few crops in. Oh, you are not happy anymore, but I would like you to be. Gaining a little bit of reputation. It's always excellent. We completed this glade event. That is great news. See if this matches any of these. I think the best one to get here might be the provisioner or the scribe. Uh, the provisioner, because I very much value having cheaper access to the um, having cheaper access to to make these um, extra provisions. In fact, I don't need any more right now. I will ask someone to deliver these that are in here, though. Now there's nothing more to do there. Let's finally get this one taken down. This is a scribe. I think I will also just get this one taken down. That will be the two ruins for my ruins pack over here. Getting these done soon-ish. Another trade route available. Have just enough plant fiber for it. I will take it. Having a lizard doing this clothing is nice. I am not going to be able to get them. And I have unlocked this now. I unlocked this after the last game. I am now allowed to say no. No one is allowed to take any clothing. 
I will would also like you to not take in any of this other food, except you lizards. I'm okay with you giving me some reputation right now. But please no one consume complex food until I say you may. Excellent. Hmm. We are done with cutting stone. It's fine. I think... The next logical place to put someone is producing a bit extra here, as well as making sure to produce some more clothing here. And I could do a bit of luxury goods. Do I need it for anything? Nothing specifically. Okay. Do I need packs of props? I do need five packs of props for that one. So I think we will be making those immediately. Make them out of grain, please. I don't have anything else I use my grain for right now anyways. So it might as well be for that. And... This is a lot, but not so much that I can simply work around it. Hmm... We'll send both of these, even though it means I'm going to be very low on leather for a little while. High value trade routes. We are naturally going to be doing those. I'm just going to grab this. There's the tavern. I believe I have a thing for this. Yes. Excellent. I will admit that I locked into that one. That was not me playing smart, that was just me being paid. Ooh. They are unhappy. Let's see what we can do about that. The beavers aren't working the woodworks, they can work over here for a while. Alright. Hmm. I am considering building a warehouse down here just for the sole purpose of these people having an easier time giving me the meat that I require. Anyhow, pick your perimeter. Yeah. But I'm not probably not going to do that education, so I'm just gonna grab yeah. the secure per perimeter anyways. Love food production. Love packs of goods production. I probably don't need this. I'm very happy with the farms I have right now. I am going to see if I can't just buy a bunch of tools here. I can buy all of them, that's excellent. If I can then maybe also buy a little bit of leather. Yeah. Excellent. Actually, I have, I have extra of these. I'm not going to be using them this game. Let's just grab some more. Perfect. And I have newcomers. All of five humans. That's a lot of humans. And that is what we need to get our... Now we have 11 of 10. Perfect. So how do I use you well to make it worth it that you're here? Hmm... That's a good question. Are beavers working somewhere where beavers shouldn't be working? Yes, but only because I don't think they're going to be happy anyways. So, might as well have them be productive. I can break into this whenever I want now. I don't think I want to do it right now. I don't feel like I have exactly what I might need. I'm going to turn coal consumption off so that I can save up some coal in case that's relevant. More trade routes available. Come for our stone. It's fine. All right, I need high value trade routes. Mm, I'm close to being able to do it with leather. So... I 
I think if I click this off here, is that enough? Yes, but I need provisions. Please don't use leather right now. Oh right, it takes longer before it begins getting delivered because there's lots of space in the building. So there we go. That's worth 16. That's the first of five. Right. Couple more. We can do 16 here. That will delay this delivery a little bit. But I am perfectly happy with doing that because getting five trade routes will take a little bit. The ruins one is done. Excellent. That didn't actually delay this one. Okay. I am going to put a couple of extra shelters in here. Change the path around a little bit so that there's space for an extra shelter. Because we do have some unroofed people. And that's not going to be great during the storm. Let's send whoever we have available to open some ashes. Where are the caches at? Oh, did the, um... Did I not get the, the robbers in time, so they stole all my caches? Ah, uh, that has to be it. Oh, well. I guess it is time to open a, a new blade or two at some point soon. Um... Being able to make jerky sounds good. Like that. Heaven. This makes my make my humans very happy. I am going to be opening this one. I decided that it's fine even though there's a storm coming up. I have a lot of tools. Those can open most things. Some of the few things that they can't open the um, where is that under the wild wildfire isn't can. Yeah, see, blood tools or wildfire essence for this one. Um, blood flowers will spawn. This will allow me to build wildfire essence and the like. I don't, I'm not actually interested in that. But I'm just going to sell it to this one. Blood flower, first one. The advantage to blood flowers is that they are actually. If you can keep them under control, they are a great event because they give some very sick rewards like ancient tablets. It's rare to find them anywhere, but the blood flowers just randomly give you them. But they, it comes at the cost of a lot of your food. Like, a lot, a lot. And that's not very nice. And I am slowly but surely running out over here. Well, I say slowly. I am quickly and surely running out over there. Uh, I don't need any more packs of crops for anything else, so I can just sell that when I get the crop option again. We are past the storm. Ability from woodcutters is decreased. That sounds awesome. I am going to drag you out of there because I do need two people to go work on this flower as quickly as possible. It's terrible if you actually let them get out of control. I might probably get a third one, don't I? Mm. Gonna suck. I don't think I'll be taking on any more people right now. Trader arrived. I'm getting a lot of crystallized dew from just existing in this biome, and it's worth a ton. Uh, I'm going to not know what to actually do with all of that money. But, um, I guess we're just going to buy a large amount of fabric and, uh, no, 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 no. I know exactly what to do with that money. Where? Give me all those tools. Here, take these crops. Here, take these provisions. No, don't take all my provisions, actually. Mm, take some of my gold. There we go. Give me those two. That's fine. Um... Right, I have to make ale. That means I'm going to want all of these barrels. So I have something to store it in. 
that's going to be fine. There's that third one. Uh, stop producing coal for a little while and get that third one going as well. The sooner the better. Alright, I asked them to not wear clothing because I wanted them to wait until they I actually had more going. I have a lot of clothing now. And I think with clothing being plus five and me being able to boost, I think I might be able to make the humans happy and gain a little bit of reputation from that. Mm, make bricks, make wine, make skewers and biscuits. What you can do with wine. What can I make wine from again? I can make wine from... I don't really produce any of that. I'm just gonna go with the cookhouse. And let's move you close up here so that you are very near to a warehouse and can easily do a lot of wood chopping. For all, it's always interesting to know how much wood a wood chopper would chop if a wood chopper chopped wood. Um, I have a lot of stone. Yes, I can make it over 16. This, I would rather have used them for more. So I'm just going to make a little easy route. Of 13 humans, 1, 2, 3, I need way more human holes. Put you in there. Yeah. So, human house. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I am definitely going to build a small warehouse down here just to get a little bit of easier access for my travels. You... Not quite. Oh, well. It's not there. That made no difference. Hmm. Oh, well. Um. We will handle it as it becomes necessary. Alright, I do get the crystallized too, so I could just begin producing the tools here. Hmm. Let's get a third beaver in here. And you are officially not happy. I can boost you and I can put this down. Big boy is in the next trade route, let's just see. We are going to go with the wood for a song. We're not hoping that this will last much longer. So without being low on food. Okay, you just please arrive a little bit earlier. We will um, say please and thank you. Buy all of your food. Hi. Just all of it. There we go. That's food. That's food. This is food. These are victory. Got that. Got this. Um, technically, I would like to grab it and use these for anything right now. Just grab those. Let's grab a little bit more clay. So it doesn't hold me down. Three, four, five. Excellent. That will be enough trade routes to earn the export hub. Let's have someone open this. Let's look for another glade to open. We would know we'll have some caches in there. We're just going to go cache hunting for a little while. Okay. 
This actually also gives us red if we can complete it. Um, Scrolls, tea, incense, wine, ale. Will you bring any of that? Probably not. Can I make any of it? Can make the ale? I can make the scrolls and I'm almost up the scrolls. I don't have anything to make the scrolls out of. Excellent. Oh well, excellent is <laughs> probably not how I actually feel about that. Hmm. Um, okay. Smokehouse can make incense. What do you require for incense? Stuff that we actually do have. Excellent. Make some incense. And you are definitely eating all of my wood now. So stop, stop that. Okay. So someone come here and begin loading. Oh, not that. Instance, please begin loading that into there. And someone else come here and please begin loading these into here. And my humans are happy, which I am happy about. You can also see that this generates. 26 if I click this and they therefore go even higher 34 35 now they are producing new building um, I like the guild house here now they are up to 41 and they're producing 35 I don't remember how much I said they produced before but I do, would rather have multiple be happy not quite sure what made them so happy all of a sudden, but they just decided to be happy. And you know what? It's difficult to blame them for. I'm also going to say, please eat and drink whatever you want now. It's fine. I have two of these. I'm just gonna send both. Send that. Excellent. Excellent. And... Maybe just put one more on this so that it actually gets done. Actually make fabric nice. It's a little late, but we'll take it. I just got what I needed to make 50 ale win. I should probably say yes please, you can now make all of the ale that you want. You shouldn't consume it. Oh right, I'm actually winning just from whatever we're doing with these. Okay. I have enough of other stuff now and I can't use tea for anything so just plop the tea over there then. Mm. Why am I doing this? I think it's just a compulsion, because I have one. There is nothing now that can stop me. As soon as this one completes, I will win. Just feels like you should always optimize, you know. You should always check, is there something great to grab here? I can get two ancient... I can gain five tablets here. Oh, two completed glade events. Ha! Huh. Most of these specifically state that they do not include blood flowers. Maybe this one does, because I did not do like 10 glade events, unless you count the three uh, flowers and the buildings I rebuilt. Oh, huh. cool. I'm gonna grab that. And gonna sell these. And I have enough people that I could put them in here. This also makes them be happier the more goods I've traded and I have traded a lot plus one per, 50, per 75 amber and I've get done that seven times during this playthrough so even if these aren't going to do it now these are happy these are going to be happy as well we're going to see a victory in less than a minute and thus I declare this colony a success for her majesty the scorched queen and the citadel just like that, we have braved the wilds once more and shown that we are a great viceroy and advisor team. And that we are willing to go where no one has gone before. 
and bring back the resources necessary to survive the Blightstorm cycles. That's great. We unlock a new race, a couple of new buildings. Excited for all of this. The town of Flamestead. We will go on somewhere down here next time so that we can hopefully move closer to the deal. See if we can seal a seal on our first try. But for now, let's just have a really quick... I'm going to click through these. I'll be with you again in just a minute. Welcome back. Now we're going to go buy some upgrades for the Citadel. I am not getting parts and the like yet. So we are looking at what we can get outside of the part parts. Mm. And honestly, I think I like the idea of being able to choose between a couple more embarkation. And if I can... A little bit more here. At this point, it's... I really just want to focus on getting some more traders. And when we get further up, I begin to unlock some of the factions, which are trade routes, even if you haven't completed the city yet. Those are all really great, and I want to do that. Right before we end, I promised you you would meet Aunt Lori. I am her nephew. As soon as you step into your new home, you notice a richly clothed woman standing by the window, her gaze fixed on the citadel. Hey, Andy! Laurie looks around the empty room. Well, it is, isn't it a nice-looking house? Back in my day, Fresh Wise Royce would sleep on the floor in the Svar Tavern. How was your training? Well, it was not much of a challenge. Don't let your guard down, kiddo. The Outer Wilds are never a safe place. The farther you travel from the Citadel and her presence, the tougher it gets. I promised my sister I would look after you, and I plan on keeping that promise. As a member of the Queen's Hands, there is much I can teach you, but knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. For now, focus on exploration, try new things, venture into uncharted territory. And she kicks me out of my own home. Well, if it isn't my favorite nephew. You mean your only nephew. Does it matter? <laughs> we have a reason to celebrate. I hear you just established your first successful settlement. Well, my second actually only. Feels weird, huh? Investi investing so much time and energy into a town, then leaving it as soon as it's become self-sufficient. I mean, I do like the change of scenery. That's very nice. Oh, interesting. You feel the new Viceroys aren't so eager to move on. But that's good. You seem to be getting used to this new life quite quickly. And who knows? Maybe someday you'll join your brothers, our brothers and sisters on the frontier in the never-ending fight against the sealed ones. Huh. Auntie, Auntie, I hadn't actually heard about the sealed ones. What? What are they? Let me just sit here a short while. Maybe, maybe we will go listen to some of her stories at some point, but not now. For now, I'm going to say thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.